So today, I'll be showing you how to use an external SSD with your iPad. And I'll be telling you everything you need to know about how to use an SSD with your iPad and how to get the most of your SSD. Now, SSDs are very fast external storage devices, which means you can quickly transfer uh, photos, videos, and other types of data to and from the iPad and the SSD. And so the first thing you need to do is connect the SSD to your iPad. Now, connecting your SSD to your iPad mainly depends on your port situation. Like what port do you have on your iPad? Now, some iPads will have the Type-C port like this one. This is a, a very new iPad, the Type-C port. Some will have the Lightning port. And so the way you connect your SSD to your iPad mainly depends on that little port. Now, also, it depends on the connection connection or connector you have on the SSD. Mine is a Type-C connector, so that makes it very easy because I already have a Type-C uh, port on my iPad, and all I have to do is plug it in. It's literally that simple. So I'm just going to plug it in like that. There you go. Now, if you had the Lightning port, then you might want to use a Lightning to... Uh, type C adapter so you can have an adapter that has lightning on one side and type C port on the other and then you can use that to connect your SSD to your iPad now I will link some of those adapters down in the description so you can check them out and maybe pick one up in case you really want to connect your SSD to your iPad now the iPad works with any SSD now obviously just like any other product some SSDs work better than others. Personally, I have this Samsung T7 SSD and it works great. Okay, I've never been disappointed with this uh, SSD. It works fine. It's fast. It's reliable and I love it. I'll also link it down below in case you're interested. But like I said, you can use any SSD that you want. So the next thing I want to talk about is what happens as soon as you connect the SSD to the iPad. Now, there's not going to be any pop-up or any sound from your iPad to let you know that you've connected. Nothing is going to happen. You may see a light on the SSD. If your SSD has some LED lights, you may see that. But the only way to be sure you connected is to go and open the files up. Okay, so let me find the files up. If you can't find it, then you have to go to the app library and try looking for the files up. Or you can just swipe down and search files. Make sure you open the files up. Now in the files up, on the left hand side pane, you can actually see all the location, uh, all the locations of this particular iPad. We have on my iPad, which is the iPad's internal memory. You have iCloud, and then we have our SSD. This is a Samsung T7, and as you can see, it's been actually detected and connected. So. If I tap on it, these here are the files and folders inside the SSD. So I can open uh, folders, check out specific files like that. Okay, so I can actually access the files inside the SSD. Now, if I want to copy a file or a folder from the SSD to the iPad, it's very simple. Just go and uh, select the file. If you want to, you can select multiple files. For instance, I can select two. And then you can choose whether you want to duplicate or to move or to delete or to share, whatever you want. So for, you, for instance, you want to move, just tap on move. And then it's going to open a little files pop-up window. And then you can choose where you want to move the files to. So I'll just go on my iPad because this is my iPad's internal memory. So I'll tap on that, long press and empty space, and then select uh, maybe even create a new folder. call it uh, photos tap on done open that folder and then select copy so those items are now inside my iPad so if I go to my iPad memory look at my new uh, folder that I've just created you can see my pictures are in there so that is efficient now you can also move files and folders from inside the iPad to the SSD so if you have files inside the files app so for instance if i come here and go to this folder and find maybe this picture 
and I want to transfer it, all I have to do is uh, select. So tap on select and then select the uh, items you want to move. Tap on move. And then now this time I'll select my SSD. Maybe even pick a folder and then tap on copy. And those files will be transferred to a folder on my SSD. Now you can copy photos and videos directly from your gallery to the SSD. So the easiest way to do this is to be organized. Okay. So you can go to the SSD. Inside the SSD, let's go ahead and create a folder, which the iPad allows you to do. So you can actually create a folder by tapping on this folder icon, or you can long press an empty space uh, inside the SSD and then select new folder. And then let's call this uh, test two. Okay, and tap on done. So here's my test two folder, it is currently empty, but now since I have that folder inside my SSD, I can now exit out of the files app. I can go into my gallery or the photos app. And then from here, I can pick photos and videos. So just tap on select. Okay, just tap on select and then select photos and videos that you want to transfer. I've selected seven and then tap on the share icon at the bottom here and then that opens this dialog box, scroll and tap on save to files. So that's going to prepare the photos and videos for transfer. Might take a while in, in case some of those are already uploaded to iCloud. So just be patient. Once it's done preparing, it's gonna uh, open the files up. So choose your external SSD and then choose the folder you wanted to paste in and then tap on save. And those photos and videos are now going to be transferred to your SSD. To confirm that, just open the files up and then go to your folder and you can see my photos and videos have been transferred. So that is basically how to use your SSD with your iPad. In fact, before we conclude this video, let me show you an easier way of transferring those. So if you go to the files app, and then let's say you've selected a couple of photos, you can actually long press on them. And as you can see, they're going to be put together. Those are 11 items I've selected. Now, as you hold this, you can exit, open the files app, and then open the folder you want to paste them in, and then just drop and release them there and they should be transferred to your SSD. It's literally that simple. That's multitasking on the iPad. Anyway, that's basically how to transfer items or other photos and videos from the gallery directly into your SSD. Now, once you're done transferring photos and videos to and from, and you're done using your SSD with your iPad, there's really no way of safely unmounting, okay? There's no menu for safely unmounting. All you have to do is make sure everything has finished copying. Anything you are copying is done. And then just gently pull out the SSD from the iPad. And you'll notice your SSD is going to disappear from the files app. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. I hope I explained everything you needed to know. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.